Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So dead ahead is the friary here in Wexford town. Now it's believed that the Franciscans arrived in Wexford in the year 1255. They have played an important role ever since to the people of Wexford town here. The friary was suppressed in 1540 following the English Reformation after which the friars went into hiding. Seven Franciscan friars were killed when Oliver Cromwell's forces invaded Wexford in 1649. Any friars who were not present during that massacre returned and continued the Franciscan tradition in secret. The Franciscans made a public return in 1660 and the church was reopened in 1673. The new church was built on the site of the old medieval friary in 1690 and was the only church open here in Wexford during the time of the harsh penal period. So we are currently standing in what was the graveyard here beside the friary. It became overgrown. So they removed the headstones and just made this lawn. This is the other side of the friary. Now the present friary was built in 1802 and has been home to the Franciscans ever since. In 2004, the Brown Franciscans decided to leave in 2004 due to the lack of vocation and the ageing of the friars at the time. Fortunately, the Grey Friars were able to take over. For over 750 years, the Sons of St. Francis have been present in Wexford in good times and in bad. And the church itself is a reminder of this. Right guys, we're inside the friary. There was a few people in here praying. So I probably have to do a talk over. We know very little about the life and death of Saint Adjutor. He was probably killed in the 3rd century, an era when many Christians in Rome were put to death. The palm in his hand is a symbol of martyrdom, indicating that he died for his fate. Judging by the size of the waxen figure, he was probably quite young when he died. According to local tradition in Wexford, he was killed by his father, a pagan with a blow of a hatchet to his head. One of the versions to the story is that a Judator's family had learned that he had attended the confirmation of a Christian friend, while another version is that a Judator was uh, forbidden to attend Mass by his father, but he went anyway and received a severe beating from his father. The second time, his father put him in a barrel of oil, but he survived, saying that a woman in blue had rescued him. He continued to attend Mass and the last time his father killed him with a blow from a hatchet to his head. In Wexford, Saint Adjutor is fondly known as the little saint or the boy in the glass coffin. So how did this wax figure and relic of Saint Adjutor come here to the friary in Wexford? Well, during the pontificate of Pope Pius IX, the relic of St. Adjutor was taken from a cemetery in Rome in or around 1850. The relic was placed in the wax figure and this wax figure was then clotted in a clot of gold texture. It is said that a vial of St. Adjutor's blood is inside this wax figure. While on pilgrimage in Rome in the 19th century, a man by the name of Richard Deverix, a Liberal MP for Wexford, was given the relic as a token of appreciation. 
Richard owned one of the largest fleets of sailing ships in Ireland and brought the first cargo of Indian corn to Wexford during the famine. The shrine in which the body was enclosed was placed in the private chapel of Rockland's house. When Richard Deverick's died in 1883, St. Adjutor was moved to the friary and the waxen figure of St. Adjutor was placed under the altar here in the friary. At some stage, they moved the little wax figure of St. Adjutor to the back of the friary church. For as long as I can remember, um, St. Adjutor has been here at the back of the friary and I know as a child I used to be quite scared of this not really understanding the whole story of this little boy. Very interesting story and um, people are coming and going so I'm going to probably do a talk over or clip the video. Um, just give you a look at the friary. I have been to mass here and it's absolutely amazing look at that ceiling. And um, that little boy actually used to sit in under the altar here and he was moved to where he is now. And as a child, I remember very clearly that little wax figure and uh, being quite scared as a child. Beautiful stained glass windows here. So when I was in Mass here, it was the Brown Friars who were here. So it's the Grey Friars are here now. Just back here for a second, there's someone coming in again, so I'm just going to have to be quiet. The 8th of January 1790 at an early age displayed talents of superior order which shone with bright luster in afterlife. He for many years filled with great ability the situations of professor and president of St. Peter's College. His profound learning and his zeal in the cause of religion and in the events of faith, his reputation for eloquence That says the 27th of May, So it's been quite hard to actually tell the story. It's so busy. Um, 
even in the church, lots of people in there praying, which is lovely to see, obviously. Um, where I'm standing now is actually the old graveyard of the friary. And seemingly it became extremely overgrown in very bad condition. So they came in, removed the headstones and just left the green here like this, which is, it's unfortunate, but maybe they were in such bad conditions, you know. Um, so this is the other side of the friary we're looking at the back. I've shown you a little bit of the area surrounding the friary. As I said, I went to Mass in the friary itself. Behind there, that steeple, that is um, Rose Street Church, another beautiful church in Wexford. We have the friary, we have Rose Street and we have Bride Street. Um, all beautiful churches. All that really remains, I suppose, of this graveyard is a huge rock. It says 1780 to 1927. An inscription here, in memory all, sorry, in memory of all who lie here sealed with the sign of fate awaiting the resurrection. And above them we have the same in Irish. So I suppose it's nice that they're keeping this area green and, you know, it is kept well, but it's sad that there is no headstones. Um, Devericks, the man that received the relic of the little boy that I just showed you, is actually buried here. Now I do know the records are kept inside the church and also all the names of the friars themselves, some who were massacred as we spoke about. So guys, that's the end of the video. I'm sorry I had to do some talking over the video as well, just because I'm so busy, as I said. So from here in Extra Town, the Friary, take care. God bless. Don't forget to like the video. Subscribe if you haven't already and put it on to all notifications and that will let you know when I upload next. So from Wexford, take care, guys. God bless. And I'll talk to you all again soon.